Hello everyone, welcome to another Roaring Records tutorial. Uh, this time we're going to kind of look at the track header here and explain a few different things. I'm going to uncheck these, kind of back up my playhead here just a second. Now, uh, one thing that you'll notice is the R button here. The R button is going to arm this track to record. It also stands for monitoring in this case. So if you have the R button hit, you'll be able to monitor yourself um, as you go into the track. So that is something to acknowledge. Um, you can change the volume of the track here by clicking and either moving up or down. The headphones is a solo button. You'll notice these two items went gray. When I hit the solo button, that means they are now muted and all I will hear is this track or you can mute just an individual track. Now all I hear are these two and this one will stay quiet. I'll give you an example of these buttons. Now I will mute the middle track. you'll hear that that track is soloed. It's the only one I hear. You can have multiple tracks soloed and then you'll be able to hear the two tracks together. Good. So I don't know if you noticed, uh, this loop down here um, is not starting on the actual grid line. I would recommend that most of the time when you use your loops, you actually click and drag and make them line up with the grid line. It'll help them make more sense. Also, if you want to make a loop like this longer, you can grab this top corner and simply drag it out. Click and drag to the length that you desire the loop to be. And I'm going to click and drag this one out and click and drag this one out as well. Now I have a longer set of loops so that I can work with more of the song that I've got started. I hope this helps.